One of the significant challenges facing Nigeria as a country is known to be insecurity, where lives of citizens are being endangered due to attacks by terrorists and bandits who are bent on disrupting the peace and serenity of the nation. The problem does not exclude the education sector as secondary and university school students are being kidnapped in coordinated attacks by these bandits. Worried about the safety and security of Nigerian students, the Education Writers Association of Nigeria organized an education summit on Wednesday, 12th of October 2022, to provide applicable solutions to the issue of insecurity in the education sector. The assignment before us is to ensure that there is security at every level. If we do not address the security of schools in Nigeria, we can never address the problem confronting this nation. Whether it is earth, whether it is uh, uh, economy, whether it is industry, any level, at any point, unemployment, the first solution is education. And that is why we have decided to bring everybody in the same room, for us to have that discussion, that debate, that interaction, that we need not just to solutions, but that will be solutions to be domesticated even right from the top to the various homes. The event which took place at the Radisson Blue Hotel, Ikeja, Lagos, had in attendance the special advisor on education to the Lagos State Governor, Mr. Tokumbo Wahab. Minister of Education, Malam Adamu Adamu, represented by Director of General Service, Ministry of Education, Mrs. Vivian Wategiri. The Director, Senior Secondary Education of the Ministry of Education, Hajia Binta Abdukodir. The newly appointed Vice Chancellor of Unilag, Professor Folasha Diogunshola. Deputy Registrar of OIEC, Mr. Amos Dangut, amongst other notable education stakeholders. As the apex body in charge of education in the country, we are essentially committed to developing an increasing literacy which fits into the larger spectrum of the federal government's commitment, responsibility to the children, youth, and the whole country. As critical stakeholders represented at this high-powered and approach-making summit, let me remind us that keeping schools safe allows children to look forward to being in an encouraging environment that promotes social and creative learning. We must all put our hands together to actualize and possibly the reality of safe schools in Nigeria against all odds. For the governor, Mr. Badi Delu Sholasonwolu, the team's agenda where you have education right in the middle as a pillar is very strategic. You have to get it right from the foundation and getting it right also involves you getting other narratives, other advocacy like what we are doing here, right? That's why we are fully involved and we are putting our skin in the game. For the education writers to let us have this discussion and I'm glad we are having that conversation. There's so much more we can do as a society. The safety goes beyond just the physical safety. So these are conversations we must have and we must wait to have it and then implement it. But as a state, since 2006 to be precise, we've been on the forefront of this and then we won't drop the ball. While giving his address, NSCDC Lagos State Commandant Mr. Eweka Edenabu discussed on insecurity and the measures put in place to ensure safe school environments for students. The NSCDC, in our effort to also eradicate the scorching challenges of menace of insecurity in the nation, has also established a well trained organized squad known as Special Female Squad with the aim of clinically putting a stop to crime and criminalities in our school. And we have recommended the deployment of CCTV cameras among other security cases to close monitoring of schools and their environment. Mr. Vinod Karani spoke on Safe School Lagos, a project by Governor Babajide Sonwolu to ensure that safety is recognized in schools and the educational sectors in Lagos are up to standard. And we're doing this in partnership and in uh, complete support with the Lagos Safety Commission. The desirable outcome of this entire process is to ensure that schools are uh, being given an award of beacon of safety so that they stand out to encourage other schools within the country to work to a particular standard. A panel session among education stakeholders on the issue of school safety was held and moderated by Mr. Mojid Alabi.
our passport has been going through series of, of, of gradient to secure it from forgery. This has been doing quite a lot from the at the background to see that we have a more secure border. With time, we will get there where Nigerians can rest and know that me, the lead agency in border management, we are doing a lot to secure borders. I think for anybody coming into any school, we must screen them at the beginning to get a sense of where they are in terms of health. Now that we're talking about universal um, access to health, then I think it is mandatory that all students, whether uh, primary, secondary, or tertiary, are on uh, insurance scheme. So I think for every student, they must be on the National Health Infection um, Insurance Scheme. The key thing is about safety. Anywhere there is no safety, there can never be proper learning. And if there is no proper learning, if there is no proper teaching, definitely no nation can grow. And that is why we have brought all these stakeholders together. And you can see, the Minister of Education is represented, the Governor of Lagos is represented, everybody is here because we feel, and it is beyond them. You see the private provider, school proprietors, they are here. You see the AFED, they are here. And what they have said, is that yes, it is time for us to work together as a team. We want to be that channel for that change. We want to be that channel for that collaboration. We want to be the channel for that uh, uh, partnership. And that is why we have put this in place. Airone, which is a body of journalists across media organizations nationwide, reporting the education beat in the country, also engaged in advocacies on critical issues of importance through collaborations and partnerships with relevant individuals and organizations.